Good morning, my name is Frank Clentock and I'm here to describe to you today the bird watching photography tour. It's, uh, it's an eight day tour. We've got four full days um, to various different habitats in the plains, uh, Sargridge in the Foyer Peninsula, the fire in the salt pans and uh, the Lugo Santa Andre. Those are all four full days. It's about uh, a 10 hour day. We start off early in the morning and uh, we get back in the afternoon and it's a bird watching photography tour so we're taking photographs um, and I've been a professional photographer here for and birding guide for the last uh, 30 years now. Bloody hell I'm old. And um, been doing it here for quite a long time as you can see and uh, we know where to go and on top of those four full days we've got two half days um, one of which will be spent probably in this hide which is my um, water rail and kingfisher hide um, we sometimes get otters here I've had a pole cut here before mongooses um, common waxbill things like that um, out on the plains on the full full days on the well, one of the four full days we've got uh, great busters little busters stone curly spanish imperial eagle um, eurasian black vulture griffin vulture collared pratt and coal little ring plover black wing stilt black wing kite um, obviously all around the area we've got uh, iberian nosy wing magpies um, that would be one full, one full day. Uh, another full day is Faro salt pans. You'd probably fly into Faro and we'd pick you up from the airport and we'd take you straight out birding within about 10 minutes if you're getting in the car. So um, that's the salt pans. We get a little bitten down there. Um, escape cage birds like common waxbill, uh, black headed weaver, little egret, cattle egret, great white egret. Um, ring plover, Kentish plover, black wing still to go in, uh, purple swamp hen, things like that. Um, it's a relaxed day and it's on the way up to the Kinto where you stay because it's a one stop holiday so there's no unpacking and packing every other day to move on. So you're always returning to the same place all the time which is my house actually um, and we run it as a hotel and uh, we're rated five stars on TripAdvisor, so we're good. And it's very good food. My wife's an excellent cook. We've got an extensive list of wines, all with an ornithological theme. And uh, we're taking photographs as we go around. And um, if you're not into photography, then I take photographs all the time when I'm going around. And I give those to you at the end of the at the end of your stay. So. Even if you're not a photographer, you have a photographic record of what we've seen. Um, another day we go up to Foyer, which is the highest point in southern Portugal, 900 metres, so it can be quite chilly up there. And uh, then after that, well, we go up, up there, we get um, blue rock thrush, woodlark, Iberian green woodpecker, things like that. And then after that, we go down to the coast down to Sargris, which is um, Europe's most southwesterly point, and we'll get a little busted down there, um, Marsh Harrier, uh, Red Billed Chuff. Um, in the autumn, on the autumn migration, we get loads and loads of eagles going through there, which is uh, a really nice shot. Um, <coughs> and then the the last full, full day, we go up to the Lugo de Santo Andre. And the Lugo de Santo Andre is a, is a marshland, um, extensive reed beds, Savvy's warbler, yellow wagtail, um, little bitten again, uh, glossy ibis, loads and loads of glossy ibis, flamingos, purple swamp hens, um, coots, more coots than you can shake a stick at. Um, stuff like that 
um, and then we're on the way back from there we come through the cork oaks cork oak forest so we're getting lots of woodland species nuthatch red start black red start um, and then we're going back to the Kinta again which is what we call the Kinta it's called paradise in Portugal if you want to look us up on TripAdvisor um, and um, as I say, we can cater for pretty well any um, allergic or culinary necessity you have in you throw at us. We can do vegan and vegetarian food, no problem at all. And um, I've been here for 35 years now, so I know the area pretty well. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you down there. and. Uh, We'll go birding together. Cool.